So caffeine is an adenosine receptor antagonist. And what is an adenosine receptor? <laughs> well, adenosine receptors bind adenosine, right? And adenosine, you may you may have heard that chemical name before because it's part of adenosine triphosphate or ATP, right? So it's sort of the sort of major energy, you know, currency of the cell. It's also um, adenosine, you know, a uh, uh, a building block of you know uh, nucleic acids, right? Um, so it's one of the uh, the letters in the DNA, you know, an RNA alphabet. Uh, it's an important intermediary metabolite. It acts as a building block for nucleic acids and a component of the biological energy currency ATP. And you know when it accumulates throughout the day because of you know gene expression, because of you know the use of ATP, etc. It'll bind to its receptors, which can help to promote kind of um, drowsiness, you know, get you sort of ready for sleep. So caffeine, you know, which is the most commonly used, uh, you know, psychostimulant in the world um, and is known, you know, to affect basic and fundamental human processes such as sleep, arousal, you know, cognition and learning and memory. Uh, it acts as an antagonist on these adenosine receptors. And so it can... Um, you know, promote arousal. It can, you know, the body may be sleepy, um, you know, may, may be sending this signal, you know, this, uh, there's, there's plenty of adenosine available, you know, that would, um, you know, bind to these adenosine receptors and promote drowsiness, right? Re reduction in modulatory transmitter release, you know, and, and <laughs> send you towards sleep. Uh, and yet, you know, with a cup of coffee, uh, you're gonna you know, have the caffeine bind to and antagonize these adenosine receptors, so the brain will not listen, you know, to these uh, adenosine signals, and you'll be, you know, significantly more alert. Thank.